Good morning, Weasel. There has been many requests for more of you. Will. Morning, everybody. Today is a big weekend. I get the whole house to myself all weekend. Well, for one night. Yep. And I finally get a girls' weekend. I'm going to my mama's. She's leaving us all alone here. Woo! I mean, oh. And I'm trying to act sad, but I'm like, PS4. It's gonna all be a weekend. It's gonna be a painting party at mom. She needs to paint her bathroom. Yeah? Oh, you're painting the bathroom? Yeah, apparently we're helping. Mm -hmm. Jasmine offered her services. How very nice of my big sister. It's non-toxic paint though, so if I am pregnant, we don't know yet, by the way, uh, if I am pregnant, then at least it's not harmful with fumes or anything. So mom made sure of that. That's good. And we got uh, Zavina going as well. You want to go see grandma? Yeah. And auntie? Yeah. Auntie Jazz? And auntie Jazz? He's excited. The big guys are staying home with me. We're gonna have lots of fun. Big Frank is coming too. Big Frank is also gonna go hang out with the ladies for the weekend, hey? Eh? The ladies man. Hey, I don't think he's ever been to grandma's house. Is he not? I don't think so, and I think he's only ever met my sister once, maybe twice. <gasps> you don't even know what you're in for. She gives a lot of treats. Yeah, because we only got him a few months before this whole COVID crap started, so he hasn't met a ton of people besides the parents. Wiener, you gonna show him the ropes? You gonna show him how to do those puppy eyes for grandma? Get the treats? Uh, uh oh, you said the T word. Oh yeah? Chevy? Can I go to grandma's? We're having a guy's weekend. Just and the big guys. A boys day. Yeah, boys' night. Yeah, you're gonna go pick up chicks. <laughs> yeah, and arm wrestle. That's what guys do, right? Exactly. I knew it. Arm wrestling all At the time. Diesel, absolutely. We're gonna arm wrestle all weekend, right, Diesel? And we're gonna eat pizza. But oh, that's a food. good idea. Oh. Order pizza for yourself. I can eat whatever I want to eat. <laughs> my mom made my favorite meal yesterday. What did she make? Chicken dudes, teriyaki, oh. chicken drumettes. That's right, she calls uh, chicken wings chicken dudes. I named them that when I was little. They're my favorite teriyaki chicken homemade. So good. So good. The first time her mom made chicken dudes, I thought it was going to be something totally different like I've never seen before. I was like, wow, this is exciting. Something new. <laughs> no, it's just chicken wings. They call them chicken dudes. But they're delicious. They are. And they take a lot of effort to make, so my mama loves me. Uh, just a kid's tall hot chocolate, kid's temp, and that'll be it. Super duper. <laughs> oh, just, just watching my buddy Troy's vlog. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to get a compilation. Of everyone saying super duper to drive through doesn't matter. And if you could send them to me and we can make them, we can put them in the video or something. We'll, we'll figure something out yet. <laughs> that made my day. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was just sitting here just watching this video. I'm like, wait a second, he's at the drive through. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? <laughs> and he did it. Oh, that was hilarious. Uh, his link to his channel is uh, down below in the description of all my videos. It's called Beyond 1031. Uh, his name is Troy. Uh, his wife's name's Angie. And his son's name is Phoenix. And they make daily vlogs out on the West Coast, out in Washington State. He's a great guy. Super duper guy. Well, I've got myself suited up a little bit here. You boys hold the fort, okay? It's a little too cold for your paws. I wanna go on a little bit of a longer walk. I'm gonna see if I can do about two or three miles, or three to five kilometers, somewhere in there. It's a little bit cold for your feet yet, okay? But we are gonna go run around tomorrow at our land, okay? Just hold the fort, okay? You don't let anybody near it. Okay, Chevy, you big bad guard dog? Yeah. Talking to you too, Diesel.
You're not retired from guard duty. All right? Trust you guys. Don't let me down. <sighs> it's finally warm enough to start walking and getting rid of this. I'm almost up to my point. Uh, the heaviest point I've ever been. I think the heaviest point I was was 225. And I think I'm at about 220 again. Just keep packing them on, packing them on. You know, the end of the year is always bad for that because you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas, and then you got the deep freeze of winter where you don't want to move, you just want to sit on the couch inside and chips taste so good. There's that. And then you got to finish all the Christmas chocolate and Christmas cookies, obviously. And then you're left like this in February and March, waiting for the weather to warm up. That building over there, that taller one, what is that, like five, six stories? That's where my grandpa lived. It was within walking distance of my house. And I was kind of excited when we moved into town that I could walk over there, or he could walk over and to our place, and visit, or I could walk there and see him. But as we moved, that's when this whole virus thing started, right? And then we were right, right down the street, or right within walking distance and couldn't even see each other. Now I've got to wait. See him again one day. Steinbeck Skate Park. It's actually quite a busy place in the summertime. It's not very big or anything, but... I was never much of a skater myself. I dabbled once. Didn't end well. <laughs> I'm definitely not a skateboarder. So I was thinking about getting a bicycle for myself. And maybe for Britt too, if she wants one. So I can ride my bike around in the summertime. I haven't had one in a long time. I never really think about it, right? Because I'm an adult now, I just drive myself everywhere. Not a lot of you have asked about this clock tower in town here. I still remember when they built it. I don't know if there's a plaque here or something explaining it. Nope. Just a Steinbeck clock tower, just for fun. No reason. Did you know that Steinbeck is German for Stony Brook? This town was built diagonal along a brook that was very stony when they first got here. So they called it Steinbeck, Stony Brook. This here was the brook. So this is the Johann G. Barkman Heritage Walkway here. It follows the original brook. It's all been drained now. It actually doesn't have any flowing water in it anymore. But uh, used to be homes along here. Heinrich Brandt and Gerhard Workington, 1838 to 1909, 1848 to 1900. Heinrich was employed as a carpenter in the village. Gerhard was a widower, stayed in Ontario during the first winter of 1874-75, and moved here. So before this school was here, this was one of the original homesteads along here. Along that brook right there. It'd be uh, probably a little more interesting to show you it in summertime. So we'll come back here then. Now it just looks like a ditch. <laughs> But this is where Steinbeck got its beginning. Right along this, this place here. A little further down the walkway, we were just over there. Here's the school still. Here's another plaque that says, more of Steinbeck's heritage homesteads were right here. Cornelius Fast and Helena de Fair. Uh, the Fasts moved to the West Reserve, that's Yonzi in Winkler in the fall of 1876. 
Lot 20 here is Kloss B. Friesen. The Friesen House Barn, sorry, the Friesen House Barn, also it was a house and a barn, built in 1889, was demolished in 1960 to make way for commercial development. So the arrow points right here. So this used to be a, a farm in the beginning. And then there goes the brook. The brook would have gone right underneath this road right here. So that they would have been right along the water and had their little farm right here from 1889 to 1969. And then look at us now in 2021. Looks a little different. I bet you if I could travel back in time and stand in this exact spot in 1900, I wouldn't even recognize it. I'd probably also be trespassing on farmland right now instead of walking along this big road here. <laughs> Interesting how things change over time. So that was in 1969 when they knocked down that barn to make way for all of this. That was 70, let's say 70, 80, 90, 50 years ago, give or take a few, about 50 years ago. I wonder what this whole area will look like in another 50 years or in 150 years. So I'd have to ask my great, 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 great grandchildren one day. Hopefully they're still in the area. Hopefully they don't take off for the big city like a lot of people do. I never noticed this, but this is one of those signs that uh, those LED signs or whatever. One on both sides, right? Typical advertising. I always thought that those were lights. Those are cameras pointing at the sign. I guess so that the owners can make sure that it's working correctly. <laughs> Or maybe they just like to sit at home on Saturday nights and watch the ads on their screen from their house. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. You want to make sure your signs are working and you don't always want to run across town to make sure. Were you a good boy, Chef? That was a good walk, actually. So. It's good. I wanted to go far enough that I would feel it. I didn't want to go easy on myself. I don't like just taking little walks that I don't feel. You got to be able to feel a little sore after. And uh, since I'm not used to walking and stuff, one second here, let me get in here. We walked 4.2 kilometers uh, around town here. Let's quickly do the math for the Merkins. 4.24 divided by 1.61, 2.63 miles under three miles but hey maybe tomorrow we'll do more i'm happy with that i haven't gone on a walk in a very long time remember in 2017 i walked about three miles every day from april all the way to our wedding in september and i went from 225 pounds down to 185 i think or 190 i think 185 i hit april may june july august in five months all i did was walk and watched what i ate a lot more uh, it's all Chuck. You didn't take rigorous exercising or running or anything uncomfortable like that. I just went for a walk every day, three miles, and uh, it's five kilometers, and it really does quite a bit. So hopefully this summer I can get back on that track. I really hope so. I'm gonna try hard. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Got the house to myself for today and tomorrow. It's gonna be. Well, tomorrow we got a lot of stuff to get done around the house. I want to get a few things done and ready for when Britt comes home. Uh, I've got to get my laundry ready for the next week. I want to take down the Christmas lights. I want to redo the lights in the backyard. I'm excited to show you guys that. I got some good ideas going on here. I'm glad we went for the walk today. It made me feel really good. Uh, it always gives me more energy the next day. So I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully, hopefully we can make this a habit this summer as the weather keeps getting warmer and warmer. Uh, I'd like to go down, like I said to about 190 pounds I'm like 220 now so 30 pounds I can do it I did it in 2017 <clears throat> but I did have the motivation of our wedding so I gotta find the same kind of motivation for this time so that I can do it again but you know we're home every night now and uh, 
hopefully we can continue continue with this trend uh, and the sun will be up longer soon too so we can walk in the evenings but anyways uh this coming week on monday we're going back to work i'm going to be pulling this pup trailer around doing what i'm doing now for one more week and after that we're going back to some more familiar scenery uh going back to hauling some of the same stuff i was hauling before and i don't want to tell you too much about it yet okay so we're going to leave you in a little bit of suspense for the next week but we are going to have some familiar scenery again uh in about a week from now but the scenery will be familiar we're going to be doing some uh, flatbed and a lot of uh, 53 foot dry van we're going to be in a different truck uh but i'm excited to show you I, I don't want to say too much i've already said too much okay we'll talk about it more in the coming week but we gotta uh we'll have another week yet in the pulling the small trailer around and then uh, i'm excited to see what the future brings so thanks for tuning in today guys i learned a little bit about steinbeck history today with you it would be so interesting to go back in time to my great-great-great-grandparents when they first settled here and what it looked like when they first started building buildings here and started settling the town and, you know, getting their first post office and getting their first fire station, building the first roads in here. It used to all be swamps and marsh in this area. They had to dig out these huge canals to drain all the swamps and then turn it into nice land that we can use for agriculture and living on, right? So it was totally different. They, they did a lot of work. And uh, I'm sure they'd be pretty interested to see what their great-great-great-grandchild was doing in the same town that they built. And I'd be very interested if I could go in the future and see what my great-great-great-grandkids would be doing in this same town. I hope that you uh, either keep it up or at least make it better. Try not to make it worse, okay, grandkids? I hope you're doing your best to make it better. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Got a lot to do.